his paintings, you will relive what perhaps he saw from his veranda, or from his terrace. Um, as far as the eye could see, you know, there would be these crumpled walls, these terraces that just went, you know, far out to the horizon. And that was the view of the city that Bikash saw and that Bikash later painted. Critics and art historians, when they discovered Bikash Bhattacharji, revered him and lauded uh, his work and spoke about photorealism, which played a very important role in his work. But uh, what I saw was a cinematic aspect. It, it was like a narrative was emerging and uh, it was the grotesque, the macabre, the, the sinister that emerged. He often paints people uh, who are ordinary citizens or people who are less privileged. He's not interested in painting pretty pictures. Uh, when he paints men or women, which he does very often, they are creatures of the night and they inhabit a world which is almost a world of the twilight zone. On the one hand, there are traditional women, beautifully dressed in white and red traditional Bengal saris with their sindoors and their big bindis. But look at their eyes. They are sightless and they are almost like um, sitting there, like critiques, like Macbeth's witches. Bikash has a very uh, unique way of handling light and shadows. His story is, I think, scripted with darkness. It's the looming shadows that emerge from nowhere. It's like from an alley, a woman is just running into shadows, into, into God knows where, some kind of an escape that is not going to happen. There are works that really disturb. And Bikash, his whole narrative had to do with that rot, that, uh, that collapse that he saw in the society around him. An amazing, uh, uh, artist in terms of his te technical dexterity, you know, the way he handles oil, the way he handles his figures. But what really appeals is what happens beneath the surface.